so I don't mind my hair I was just busy doing some projects but today is the day that my cousin and I are getting our vaccines and if you've been on my channel before you guys know that I have a very big fear of needles it's like one of the few things that I truly am afraid of I've just had like horrible experiences in the past but like for me I just feel like I have to go for it because right now millions of people are dying from this so if I have to go through pain for like five seconds I'm just gonna have to put up with it because it's just better for my health my family's health and just everyone's health in general but I'm human at the end of the day and I can still feel a bit like nervous so I've literally just been doing like university work the entire morning to try and like I guess get my mind off of it but right now my hair is such a mess I actually need to wash it it's like an hour before we have to leave to go and get it it's like obviously is hitting me a lot more now what if even hanging here? I'm sorry that was like something else and I'm so sorry that my mirror is so dirty I've had it like since I was like two years old I actually just really wanted to show that part because everyone on Instagram and YouTube just look like they're so headstrong to just go and do it. Meanwhile, I'm here like busy freaking out for something that many people will call trivial. But I think that once I get it over and done with, I'll feel better. So I guess I'll catch you when I'm getting it. I'll decide maybe later if I want to record me actually getting it because it depends on, you know, how I'm feeling and stuff like that. But yeah, wish me luck. was extremely nervous waiting in the line like my stomach started paining and I felt super nauseous and stuff just because I was so anxious because of my fear of needles and you know just like trying to anticipate what happens but the people that were there was so nice it was so like efficiently done I think I was there overall for probably like 30 to 40 minutes overall to you know wait in line just get put onto the system because I had already registered and booked for my vaccination but this is more so to get your vaccination card and it basically you know just tells you how many doses you've had so far when you need to come back in and just like other sort of info that you may need but honestly like i was supposed to take a video for you guys i really i was like even if i feel nervous i'll just take a video for you guys but i was so nervous that i honestly completely forgot and only when I was walking out and my cousin was getting her vaccine and taking a video did I realize, oh my god, I completely, completely forgot. It honestly went so quick before I could even like judge how I felt while getting the vaccine. I'm so sorry for my baby hairs. But it went super, super fast. The lady that I had was super nice. You know, she sort of ran through all the things that might happen, asked me just like, questions if I've had COVID before, if I'm pregnant, just like normal medical things. And she did it on my left arm. So if you guys don't know, you should really try to get it on your non-dominant arm because people do say that it starts paining the day after you get the vaccine. Basically, she did it on my left arm and I turned away because obviously I don't want to like see what's going on. And before I could like even close my eyes so that she could start, like it was already finished. Like she went super fast, super efficient not sore at all it was a bit sore when she like pressed on it but that's just because i have really sensitive like skin and i bruise quite easily and then i sat for like i think 15 minutes outside and i just chatted to the nice ladies that were around me and things like that and then i came home and i was completely fine like i didn't feel anything like you know really wrong or anything i did have a bit of like a like a tingling feeling in my arm which they say is pretty normal because obviously like the vaccination is like trying to work through your blood but I was completely fine I took like a break and then I was actually busy with my work now you're actually balancing on my computer but why I wanted to inform you guys is that I already started feeling pain in my arm like it's fine like if I do it like this but if I lift up my arm like it's super tight here and a bit like sore and people just say that it gets a bit more sore um today and tomorrow so I'll inform you guys how that goes tomorrow but my mom just told me to rub like some vix on the actual site where they you know did the vaccination it just helps to obviously disinfect again so i did that and that's helping it to feel better 
but I can feel it's not like a sore pain like you know if someone like cuts you something it's more like a super super like stiff pain like you know if you work out or if you pick up something heavy it's like a bit like sort of a stiff thing you feel like you just want to like move your arm around but I have been trying to move my arm around quite a bit they say that helps like the vaccine work through your blood so that it doesn't sort of get stagnant or extra sore but the pain is totally bearable it's not really bad my cousin though is feeling very very tired so she's actually taking a nap now but I'm like got the same energy levels that I always do so I think it really just does depend on the type of person you are and how it reacts to you it's sort of different for everyone so basically these last two days have been so stressful not because of the vaccine i actually had a huge project that was due today along with one of my best friends and we literally finished at two this morning anyway so that is why i was so mia with you know giving you guys an update and things like that but i thought that i should still give you guys a bit of what had happened so i think i last said on friday that you know i started feeling a pain in my arm it wasn't too bad until the evening and probably saturday morning i couldn't even do dance class because obviously that requires movement of your hand and like i could probably only move it like that much i could not even put it my hand like over my head i couldn't really tie up my hair it was sore but not in a way that it's like debilitating like i could move my hand forward like that but i couldn't really move it up and that's usually the case with any kind of bruising that happens to your hand and especially vaccines i last had a proper vaccine when i was probably like 10 or 11 i was just way too scared to ever get another vaccine for like flu shots or iv boost i just kind of suffered it out i guess it was just more so that it felt like i couldn't lifted it wasn't because the pain was excruciatingly sore that i couldn't but that is sort of what happened but about halfway through yesterday so sunday it had disappeared right now obviously i can do everything there's like no pain and it's three days later my cousin on the other hand she had like a bit of like just tenderness where you know the vaccine was but she had a bit of body pains and chills and so you guys can see like it really does depend on who you are and how you react to the vaccine because we got the same exact vaccine Pfizer from the same people and then the other thing that sort of started today is I have a bit of a headache but I cannot 100% say it is due to the vaccine because one I went to bed at two o'clock yesterday as I said before but also it's sort of getting into the spring season here and if you live in South Africa, you know it's been super cold over the weekend. Durban and Cape Town were busy snowing while Joburg here was like just cloudy. Not that I'm like mad or anything that we didn't get snow. But it was very chilly, whereas today it's like proper summer's day. I think this is probably the second time in like about four or five months that I've been able to wear a short sleeve top besides the day that I went for my vaccine. But yeah, the headache is not too bad. I would recommend before you get your vaccine to have a panado before you go a lot of my family members did that one it helps to thin your blood out just a little bit so that the vaccine can work through your blood quite easily so that way it prevents any clotting and it obviously helps like if you had to get a headache or another body pain it just kind of prolongs that because your body already has the medication to sort of prevent that or make it feel less intense but i really really just want to say that despite all of the pain and things that i went through to have a vaccine, I feel so privileged and I think I'm just so grateful that a vaccine came in the time that it did, especially South Africa was going through quite a high peak back in June and July. So I'm very grateful that it happened and you know what, the pain is actually worth it because now I just feel a bit more secure, you know, going out. I've actually suffered a little bit with anxiousness. I don't think I've addressed that. I've suffered a little bit of anxiousness with going out of my house, especially when I had to go to university or very crowded places such as, you know, the mall in case I really needed something. But I think just having the vaccine now more than, you know, having the actual physical immune boost, I think mentally it just makes me feel more secure. And I'm sure that I will just feel so much more better when I get my second dose. I will definitely update you guys when I get my second vaccine in probably like another video because some people do say that like the after effects are a little bit more fluey. 
I'm going to put a few informative screens at the end of this video trying to you know tell you more about the vaccine i will also leave tons of links down below as well as the registration link i really encourage you guys to stop listening to all of the things that are being said by just random people on the internet you rather listen to people from a scientific background people who are studying science people who are doctors people who are healthcare professionals and not listen to anyone else because that is just going to increase the fear in you and most of the time none of it is actually true but i just want to say something on a more serious note i think that although in most countries i think it is a choice whether you get the vaccine or not but i actually saw something on instagram and i'm going to put it up on the screen here because i cannot remember the full message but basically it said that the COVID-19 spread and the COVID-19 peaks currently everywhere around the world is actually in the hands of the unvaccinated. I've heard so many different news articles about how many hospitals in the UK, which is almost fully vaccinated, in the US, which is almost fully vaccinated, where hospitals are literally still trying to buckle down. And the patients that come in are the ones that are actually unvaccinated. Those that are vaccinated have decrease the number of cases in their you know statistic but those that are unvaccinated are the ones that are gonna you know keep on coming into the hospitals and as we've seen in this last two years covid unfortunately continues to mutate into different variants and if you are unvaccinated it is highly likely you are going to catch at least one of these with the current vaccines that are out obviously we're probably going to need booster shots in the eventual future against any other mutations or variants of COVID that come out. Right now, after these two years, I'm sure every single one of us have at least lost one or two people or heard of different heartbreaking stories regarding COVID. And I think right now, if you're in your home and you're not thinking of getting vaccinated because of fear, please educate yourself and just go and get it because it's better for your health. It's better for all of your family's health, your friend's health, and just anyone that you come in contact with in general. I also want to make a very big disclaimer regarding the vaccine. Please, please continue to wear your mask when you go out because I think it's a very big misconception that COVID-19 vaccines prevent you completely from getting COVID. Viruses actually can never be truly completely prevented. But the COVID-19 vaccine, what it does is it actually makes sure that should you get COVID, it will not be as intense as, you know, as if you had to get it if you were unvaccinated. What has happened in a vaccine is that they take out the part that actually makes you sick and they take the rest of the body that's actually not too futile for you, but will still cause your body to make white blood cells or antigens against it so that you are better equipped to fight against COVID should you get it. It's either a choice between getting COVID and having the risk of something worse happening or suffering for one minute to get the actual vaccine and then maybe two days to actually get the symptoms that might come along with it and then being basically equipped to handle COVID should you get it and I think the choice is very clear when people put it like that and another thing that I think I should add in is that if you have had COVID within the last I think 30 or 40 days they say you can't get the vaccine so rather wait until 30 to 40 days just obviously check any government website any sort of news article that you can see what the protocol is in wherever you live but i think it is about 30 to 40 days that you do have to wait to get your vaccine if you've had covid in the past so if i can do it with all of the fears that i had you can do it too there's seriously is nothing stopping you it doesn't cost you money they are literally vaccination stations everywhere information is readily available obviously not listening to the people that are just spreading random inaccurate things on the internet but i mean news articles or you know just any videos from youtube or like me i'm trying to educate you guys and actually promote getting the vaccine as best as i can i think that there actually truly is no excuse for not getting the vaccine